folks, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to the shop. Um, recently, I started working with a bunch of small little parts and I needed to get the blue finish off of them. Um, and to do that, I used a Vaporust. Um, it's great for soaking uh, rusty tools in, but it's also really good at taking off the rust blue finishes. Uh, some things came up, life got in the way, and I was not able to get onto these tools immediately, and they sat soaking for a little bit longer than I expected. Um, it's been weeks, if we want to be honest. Um, the difference is, this time around, they're MIM. These are metal injected molded pieces. Uh, and apparently there's been some sort of a reaction with either the finish that was on them, or the uh, the bonding agent in the in the MIM process. So um, let's take a look and see what happened when we use evaporust to um, soak these things. Okay, folks, I've got my heavy duty chemical gloves on, I'm not dishwashing gloves, and we're going to see what the evaporust has done here. Uh, normally, when you use the evaporust. It's green, you can see through it. This has already been used to soak uh, a black oxide bolt to get the finish off of it. Um, but the metal injection molded parts were sitting in a different tub and it's a little more nasty. So we're gonna put it down here. And that's what you get. There are 14 of these in there in the evaporust. Um, that's what you get. I no longer have any parts at all. You can see the outlines of the little parts. You can see where they were resting on the bottom of this. This is what I have. Um, looks like I've learned um, about a hundred and forty dollar lesson here um, to not soak this stuff in evaporust anymore. Uh, if you're using metal injection molded parts, uh, keep them free of this stuff because there it is. Crunchy metal bits. So that's hard. It's nasty. Doesn't smell particularly good. So uh, stick with uh, stick with regular steel. Do not use the vapor rust with metal injection molded parts. Not for a long period of time. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, just for a moment of clarity here, I realize I kept saying evaporust through this whole process. Um, I'm using the rust oleum uh, product, not the evaporust product. And it does say that you can soak things and that it works quickly, you know, as little as 30 minutes, this kind of stuff. I have soaked tools for longer periods of time, and it works great uh, at removing rust. On the warnings in the back, nowhere does it say anything about um, metal injection molded parts. So um, we don't know. There's no warnings, but uh, we sure learned the lesson.